Darren, tough one to take that. What was the, what was maybe the most disappointing aspect of it for you? Two set plays, two goals again, really, which was disappointing. Um, that's the that's the thing really what uh, is the most frustrating aspect of it. Uh, I thought we started the game really well. Um, got got Oxford on the back foot, us on the front foot, and then you know sort of quarter of an hour in, 15 minutes in, then a corner comes over. It looks like it takes a slight deflection. Um, it ricochets to their man and he swivels and puts in the back of the net. And that seemed to rock us a, a, a bit uh, in terms of for the next sort of 20, 25 minutes after that, we were kind of trying to get a foot a foothold back in the game um, and it meant Oxford were able to gain confidence and, and start sort of stringing passes together and creating patterns. Uh, made a double substitution, I just thought he was right, reasons being I just thought Jason had been booked and he was treading carefully and um, and obviously Mitch Clark just just needs more game time um, so we just put Planty back to right uh, right back and then um, with Lowy being booked and that we just thought we'd get Chizzy in and drop Ben back there so uh, and that sort of stemmed the tie a bit really but we come out second half and then you know you give a, another free kick away in the first five minutes of second half it gives you a mountain to climb we huffed and puffed after that. We had a couple of half chances, Willow, Bailey. Um, but then after that, nothing didn't quite fall to us in the box, really. Um, and it just meant the game ran away from us. So we're disappointed because, you know, two set plays again, it's it's a disappointment. What does it do for morale after, you know, you'd, you'd got yourself a point, you'd given yourself a platform and, and then you come up with that. What what does that do for the morale of, of the team and, and the place itself? Yeah, it's not obviously you don't want to lose games. So, you know, I'm very, very uh, open and um, reflective of, you know, it's disappointing. The boys are disappointed with it. But I have to turn around to them and say, you know, with it still being six points of us getting outside the relegation zone and the maths are still there, we have to keep going because um, we have to we have to find ourselves again, get ourselves back, dust ourselves down and get ready and prepare for a, a real tough game at Burton where both teams and both clubs find themselves in the relegation uh, zone. But the, while the maths are there, I said to the boys, you have to dust yourself down again, but we have to get better at the simple basics of the game because without those that come week in, week out, it gives you a foothold in the game. You saw one aspect when you did it right at uh, Orient in the week and today where you've not done it so so well today and, we, and it's been costly for us. That double change perhaps showed that you, you're not afraid to, to make those changes no. if you see things aren't going right in a game, but uh, those are big decisions that, that you've, you've had to make really, aren't you? Because you've seen your team who played well the other night not live up to those standards today. Are you going to have to make more of those big decisions? Yeah, no, I'm not afraid to make decisions. The whole group knows that um, in terms of if we need to make decisions, we need to make decisions because at the end of the day, we're trying to find a, 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 um, a culture and a mentality here that's going to see this club going forward. Uh, we're down to nine games, but we focus no more than the Burton game and we'll work together in the week and we'll look at the group and, and you, you know... I'm only picking the players that I feel is right for the club and I feel I pick right that want to do the job for the football club and if I don't feel it's right then of course I'll make changes um, because it just wasn't right first half. We needed a spark, we needed an, an, an energy there and you know there was there was a whole course of uh, positions that I could have changed but I just thought with those two, um, as I said, you know, with Lowy being booked, we, we needed everybody at full tilt and one misplaced challenge and that would see us go down to 10 men and that wouldn't have been any good so took him off and then like I said with Mitch he just needs more game time um, and he'll come back stronger for it Just to clear up though obviously Tom not being involved today Tom sang was it kind of a necessity you got to put Mitch in there because he's the natural replacement yeah, I mean, um, Sangi and uh, Jensen, we have missed out today. Just sheer volume again, being the week. Um, Jensen picked up, hopefully, a, a, a slight strain. We couldn't take the risk with him. And Sangi's just got a real swollen ankle that's restricted his movement of the ankle joint. So we had to make the changes um, today. But again, hopefully, with it being a full week, um, hopefully, all being well, that both players will be available to join back up with the squad next week against Burton. Um, and get ready. You talked about set plays this time last week. We're talking about them again. Do you personally get frustrated in in those situations when you you know you're trying to give players information and 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 it is sometimes the same mistakes that catch you out. Yeah, and it and it is that. And um, you know we've been working again in 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 the week, and 
you know, the, the, as I said, you know, you saw one aspect in the week where they were pretty much uh, solid at them and, and resolute with them. And then today, whether it be lapse of concentration, not quite right, the delivery of the ball's different, you're never going to re um, recreate the same situation. But um, it's disappointing because they are set plays and um, they've been a problem for us this season. It's, it's about not giving up, I suppose, as well. And yeah. you, I know you've talked about mentality. That is going to be key because, you know, I know you said it's six points, but you, you've still got to win two games and, yeah. and more and hope others don't yeah. now. How do you instill that into the players that it, it, it is still doable, even when other people and media and what have you might be saying it's not? Yeah, well, the facts are there, really. So, And, and everybody else saying that it's not. They're only making hearsay because of the situation. But the facts are it is still doable. The facts are that the numbers and the maths are still there. So while ever that is, I'll always go with the facts. Um, what we have to do is concentrate on the next game. We can't look too far ahead. Let's just look at the next game and, and look to try and take care of business in the next game. And only then you can look beyond. And that's a, just the fact of the matter. And that's where... Uh, the boys, when we get back in on Monday, those are the messages what we would put to them. Um, we can't help what's been said outside of it um, because that's the nature of the, the game and the industry that we're in. When we get back to work, it's us inside the, uh, on the training ground making sure that are we doing the best possible work we can do in preparation and ready to perform against Burton.